Hello friends, welcome to another Vicki Booten Design Team project. This week we're working on glazes and that is the design team prompt for this week. So I'm going to wor be working with the iridescent glitter glaze texture paste. And I'm first layering a thick coat of the Vicki Booten white gesso onto this very large chipboard letter. It's the letter P for peanut, my Pomeranian. And I'm just making sure that I coat this really well with gesso so that the paint won't soak into the chipboard. So I'm trying to show you the Happy Spirit paper that I'm going to be using for the left hand side. I have a white foundations paper background the 140 pound mixed media heavyweight art paper from Vicki Booten. And I'm trying to pick a section of these stripes that's more red orange or more orange than red because I want it to kind of match Peanut's coat. So I'm going to cut a section of the stripes. And my design focus is I want a strong diagonal line because if you notice in my photo, there are some diagonal lines in the photo as well. So I'm just going to follow that design element. Line is a strong element that we use in design to lead your eye through the page. So I'm just measuring this out and making sure I have it to a full 12 by 12 width because my white foundations paper was not 12 inches wide. I had previously used a three inch strip. So I cut the stripe paper to three and a half inches so that I have a little bit half inch overlap and I can adhere this with the sticky thumb adhesive from American Crafts. I'm just going to adhere it lightly and then erase my pencil marks. So I make sure I have a 12 inch wide layout at the end here. And I'm going to stitch along in between, I'm going to zigzag machine stitch in between the colors, each color on the stripe. And here I'm deciding that I want to add some mixed media splatters to the background of this layout. And I believe I go off camera and finish stitching. No, I'm bringing back the P. <laughs> so here is the big letter and I'm deciding that I want to paint this and I'm trying to mix a color to match that dark blue green stripe in the striped paper on the left. So I'm getting out an acrylic block so that I can do some mixing here and I'm deciding where I want my mixed media splatters. So I know that I want to focus an area off to the right of that large letter. I'm adding a lot of water to the blue Hawaiian and the blueberry pie watercolor marker and I'm going to mark tiny pencil marks just so I know where to concentrate my mixed media. So I'm going to take the acrylic block and kind of just smush, smush, smush. And then I'm going to use the water brush to, cr brush to create a larger area of the watercolor. And I just want to keep everything in line with that letter and that's why I'm being careful where I place these splatters. So now that we added a lot of water, when we let this dry, it'll have a water line and the color, it'll look really cool. So here is the new set of stencils in the Wildflower and Honey collection from Vicki Booten. And I'll set this aside to dry. And now we can move on to the next step, which is coloring our chipboard letter. And I'm going to mix some paints at f and I'm gonna use a Vicki Booten paintbrush here. Oops, I poured out too much of that watermelon, so I'm going to put most of it back in the jar there. And what I want to do is create a color that coordinates with that darker blue-green. Because there's a pillow in the photo that's that color as well. So here I'm adding some ink, more ink to that acrylic block just so I can get uh, realize that that's the color that I want. And I'm going to add some of the saltwater taffy. So this is watermelon burst, saltwater taffy, and I believe I go get the blue Hawaiian too. So I want to ha this to have more blue. And at first I think that I can add some of the pigment color from the color wheel, and I'm thinking I want to add an ombre color so it'll go from light to dark. But then I think that would be too distracting. So I go ahead and I add some of this pigment ink at the top in the lightest kind of seafoam color. And I, I, I think it 
could look great on a layout but I just thought that there were too many different colors in the stripes and so that I thought that the, the letter the chipboard letter needed to be one color instead of a strong ombre so I'm st that's the great thing about layering is you can start with this and if you don't like the way it's going I left this in just so you guys could see that sometimes I start it and I'm like yeah I'm not liking where this is going so then uh, you can go ahead and cover that up once that dries and so I'm adding some more some of the blueberry pie watercolor marker just to blue up that paint and this is more of the color I was going for so now we're going to add this to the chipboard letter and I'm just going to add a whole coat here and cover up that pigment ink and I decided that I really like the color. Uh, once I get to the top, it does create a little bit lighter effect, but you can't really notice it in the finished product. So you can cover this whole thing. And so we have the chipboard. We have the kind of, you can see the texture created by painting the gesso. And then once that dried, you go over it with the paint so you get another layer of texture. And then we're going to create a third layer once this dries. So we'll work on our layout in steps. Um, you notice I went to work on the background while the gesso dried and then I came back once the gesso was dry and painted the letter and then I'll go back to the layout. So I'm just getting that reference stripe and um, seeing I need more blue. So I'm going to try to figure out, see I'm bringing it back saying, hmm, needs to be more blue. So I'm going to put away the pigment ink, the color wheel there. And I'm going to go back to painting some more. And if this is not, if, you're, if your previous paint layer is not dry, it'll take the paint back off. And you'll notice I do that on the, that little lighter spot right there on the edge of the letter is where I went to paint over and it wasn't dry enough and so it just took the paint off. But that's okay, you can wait till it dries and go over it again. See, now this letter is dry and we can move on to the next step which is creating the iridescent glitter texture paste. And we're gonna color it. So I'm, I went outside and sprayed adhesive, stencil adhesive on the back of this brand new Wildflower and Honey stencil. And I'm adding that those colors that I had on my acrylic block is getting added to the glitter glaze here. And then I'm just going to spread it through the stencil with Vicky Boot and Palette Knife. And I really like the texture that this gives the chipboard letter. And plus I like the fact that it's summer and so summer seems to be like this iridescent teal color to me. Because it reminds me of the pool. So here I'm adding more of the Blueberry Pie watercolor marker and more of the Blue Hawaiian watercolor marker. Make sure you don't touch the iridescent glaze to the end of that watercolor marker. So here is the finished chipboard letter. It's all dry and I can move on with the layout. There's my stitching that I've finished. And you see that I want that chipboard letter. There's my photo of Peanut. And now I'm going to start layering in between those mixed media splatters. I'm going to layer all of the die cuts that coordinate with the colors on my layout. So I've got orange, coral, a sort of tan, cream, and the teal or turquoise. And I'm just adding different layers to add interest. And notice that I'm adding the leaves at a diagonal. So the diagonal line from the stripe goes from the top left to the bottom right, the striped paper. And then notice that I'm adding these diagonal elements back up to the top left or the top right. So that your eye is kind of led through the layout this way. So I love that dark teal butterfly and I'm going to add that with a foam dot to kind of point, notice I'm pointing it towards Peanut when I finally decide where, there it goes. That's a good place because it points to his face. And then I use the orange one up here at the top right to kind of also balance the layout. So I like how that looks. I like the stickers. They have a holographic gold foil. And then I'm gonna get this uh, turquoise or teal section of that strip, word strip sticker and it says best kind of day. Now I'm going to go to the thickers. These also have the holographic gold foil. So I've got a teal banner shape with some gold splatters there. I'm going to add that just to add that darker teal color. 
and then I'll use these circles with the hearts inside and the holographic gold foil is shining against the camera but you'll be able to see it in the finished photos then I have another one of the hearts and notice I'm laying I'm laying them in a triangle I'll add a third one and they are all spaced around the photo just to also lead your eye around the layout so I have a tangle of blue thread that I thought oh it was on my desk might as well use it <laughs> and so I'm angling those leaves to kind of also point to the subject of the photo which is peanut and then I'm adding another one of those that's the third chipboard circle so it kind of constrains your eye once you go down your eye follows those strong bold stripes on the left of the layout and here we are we finished the layout already that was pretty quick thanks for joining me today for another Vicki Booten design team project and share your creations in the Vicki Booten mixed media community on Facebook I'll leave a link in the description box below link like and subscribe thanks so much bye